this is Jeff Nature with BikerNet Studio, and we're at the Rick Fairless Bike Show here in Dallas, Texas. We're standing in front of the Brass Ball Bobbers Brawler, which is a new FXR. We would start watching this get created at the V-Twin Show in Cincinnati earlier this year, and it's come a long way from its roller status. We're going to talk to Dar about the 411 on this bike. Dar, tell us about the Brawler. Hi, Jeff. Uh, thanks for asking, and uh, I'm happy to tell you about the Brawler. Appreciate the opportunity to be on with you here today. Um, this is an FXR inspired bike. As many of you know out there, the FXR is a, uh, it has a cult following. It's a bike uh, that was widely known as the best handling bike Harley has ever made. Um, but for reasons that we can only you know, wonder about why they stopped making it. But we think it's a fantastic platform to build off of. So uh, we took inspiration from it. Uh, we started with a chopper guy's frame, uh, which is phenomenal. Uh, we widened it in the rear. We've got a 180 rear tire on this bike. Uh, we've extended swing arm an um, inch and a half-ish to uh, give it more of a long, low drag look, plus mainly to keep the, um, the wheel extended past the triangulation section underneath the seat so you can see the full uh, uh, diameter of the wheel. Uh, this is a rubber mounted bike. Um, we, we didn't want to copy the FXR, we wanted to put our slant on it. So um, as you can see in this one, this is our sport version. We're going to have two, two versions of this bike, a cruiser version and a sport version. And uh, both of them will have custom sheet metal. Um, with this sport version we can start with a tank. We narrowed the tank and then we raised the panel up. But we also put the knee dishes in the side, so it's kind of like Harley meets Norton. And then uh, in the tail section, we put this little cafe section, but then the kind of a sport bike isk. So, you know, I don't know if you would, some people might call it drag, uh, some people may call it uh, GSXR, but whatever it is, it flows really nice. Uh, we've got some trick stuff, like, we, well, we're running mid controls, obviously. We've got this hair cleaner from Todd Cycle. Um, the hand controls are ISR controls from LA Chop Rods. They're fantastic. The bars are Pro Taper. Um, it just gives the bike a nice aggressive look. The, um, the front end is a Mean Street 56 millimeter inverted front end, which is just killer. The, front, oh, the headlight as well as killer martini headlight, again from Todd Cycle. So there's just a lot of cool things. Um, we machine the trees in-house and we put the gauge in inside the trees and we just give it a nice clean look. Uh, we've got an evil engineering primary on this bike and then the suspension. I can't go without telling you about the suspension technologies shocks that we've got. They're true monotube shock similar to an Olin's. Uh, so the, the bike rides like nothing you've ever ridden before and uh, not only that but every pair of shocks from suspension technologies is dynoed. Um, they're matched, they're paired up, identical, and they're, um, they're tuned to the rider's weight uh, and the, the handling of the bike. Uh, lastly, uh, we've got a Baker transmission, FLT tranny with the oil under the tranny, and then we've got an S&S &S, uh, 96 inch brass balls motor. The exhaust is not done yet, it's just mocked up, but D&D, &D, the performance experts, are going to do a, a special exhaust for us for this bike. So. Uh, we're really happy about the way it's turned out. Dar, talk a little bit about what you learned during this build. You come from a bobber background. This is a, a new departure for you. Uh, what did you learn about this bike that's different than uh, building some of the other bikes that you have in production? It's a lot more expensive. <laughs> um, you know, uh, we've been, we've received a lot of praise for the bikes that we currently build. Um, and for me, the designs on those bikes have come real easy. You know, I just, I can see it. We put it together. Um, the bikes flow real well. The FXR has been a challenge uh, for many reasons in that one, we didn't want to copy what was already done. We wanted to pay respect to what's been already done, but then put our own slant on it. So there's been an awful lot of tweaking back and forth uh, to get the design of this bike just right. And uh, I'd say that's been the hardest thing. The mechanics, you know, that's just, you know, it takes some different parts. Rubber mounted, you know, but it's all bikes. And us bike guys, we, we know what that is. But um, getting the design just right, that I felt comfortable that can roll out the door and represent our company, um, that's been the biggest challenge for me.
You talk about design and representing your company. What's the essence of Brass Ball Bobbers and Choppers? Well, every bike we design, we design with the purpose uh, in mind that, I, you know, it pays respect to what has come before. However, we want to put our own slant on it. But most importantly, I want it to be timeless. We want to build a bike that looked good 10 years ago, but will look good 10 years from now. I don't want to build a bike to go, oh, that's a Pro Street built in the 90s, or oh, that's one of those choppers built in the you know, early, mid-2000s craze. I want every bike we build to look cool uh, and timeless, and so that's real important to me. That's why there's not a lot of extra fluff on our bikes. Coming from a zero to hero in doing a design and getting a bike into production, how long does it take to actually get a bike out, a new design out into the marketplace? Okay, Go. yeah, this this bike's taken me, taken me about six months, um, and that's you know working on it a little bit, putting it in the corner, sleeping on it a little bit, looking at it, tweaking. Um, I'm not working on it every day, but I'm I'm thinking about it every day. So. Um, yeah, I'd say about six months on this, and this has been the bike that has taken us the longest to uh, develop. Anyone you'd like to thank for uh, helping you uh, pull this thing together? The list is too long, but very distinguished. All right, well, that's the 411 on the Brawler. Again, Jan uh, Jeff, thanks for having me on. Uh, you guys ride safe out there. Peace.